Welcome back friends to another rares and collectibles video. Uh, today's video is one that I've actually kind of been really looking forward to because this is one of my favorite collectibles that I have in my set. Uh, again, I really should do some research on these things before starting to show them off. Because um, I actually don't know what these are. Uh, so again, get the, the big thing out of the way. Uh, again, another Mandarake purchase, purchased for 100 yen. Now the cool thing about this is not only do I have one, I have two. I have three. I have four. I have five. I have six and I have seven. Okay, so the big thing I guess is how much did this cost? Uh, again, I am cheap. These were quite actually inexpensive. So this one was 100 yen. We are 20 yen and a 1 yen. So it's a 121 yen so far. This one was 20 yen, so it's 141 yen. This one was 100 yen, so it's 241 yen. This one was 20 yen, so 261 yen. And this one was 100 yen, so 361 yen for all of them. So let's have a look through them. Uh, I really don't know too much about the set and the series and you know how many of them are there and things like that um, but i have numbers one through to six plus this special one um which is volume six so i would I presume that there are five volumes before this one as well um yeah so let's have a look at it so this is a limited emblem version whatever that means from the bandai museum and it's the first collection it's got the msn 2 zeong in it and it's the ababaku <laughs> can't pronounce that um but what's really cool about these is said not only does it come with a kit um for you to play around with and as i said i haven't opened these yet so you can see they're still sealed but they actually come with a book which is really really awesome um, so it goes through all the all the kits, I guess, or the all the suits, and goes through and explains the you know the the story. If you're familiar with the anime, you would you would know this. So you know, there's the characters, uh, the white base crew, Char, uh, a Universal Century word dictionary, and then again, you know, this is where I really really wish I could read Japanese. Uh, some of them are. In English so the mobile suit so it's a space utility instruments tactical and mobile a r m o u r which is an all range maneuverability offense utility reinforcement um, the battle data you know what happened the timetable um, so this is um, and some amazing detail put into this for you know the people that are really into this type of stuff. But this is probably the really cool keen thing of um, you know, how do you how do you put the set together? So obviously it comes with a couple of different bases and whatnot. Um, here we go, so here's an exclamation. So I've got set six and there are as I said four sets before. It's two thousand four by the look of it. And I have a feeling, just sort of like add a bit of a guess here, this is kind of like one of those once a month um, subscription type things that you buy. So it's pretty cool. So what's actually in it? I'm you know, opening on camera for the first time. snoring in the background so we have I won't take this one out but Xeong kit uh, again really cool kit 
uh, in two parts and a base with a stand and a beam of some sort to, to put it all together. Um, look, I will open it, I didn't want to. But, you know, things I do for... Ooh, it's, a, it's like a squishy rubber. Oh, that's really weird. It's not metal, it is cheap and nasty plastic. Going through, it's a bit of articulation. <laughs> Rocket punch. Um, yeah, things don't really move, which is kind of, I guess, typical. Put that back in so I don't damage it. And the stand. Once those really hard plastic feels weird. Put it together, and thing goes in. You can play around with it. So look, that that that's pretty cool for that one. So let's have a look at the other kits. and see what is in them. So just give me a sec to put this all back so I don't damage it. I probably won't open the other ones. Um, but again, let's have a look. Let's do them in order. So where's one? So we have Char Zigok. And again, very carefully. A book. Pretty cool. Beautiful line art drawing. And yeah, really, really nice. So there's the kit. Actually, it's kind of weird. Ah, there we go. So a little bit of information on the actual kit that's in the uh, in the box. But so just a lot of line art and all that type of thing. Let's put this back on so I don't damage or lose anything. And as with the, the previous kit, again, sealed. Ugh, don't get it out without damaging it. I can get it out. I should have gone the other way. The entire. From the bottom as well. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> Takes collectibles, devalues them. <sighs> there we go. So, what's in there? So, we have a base, <laughs> a v <laughs> Gundam official Visa card. It's an application. Oh, it's an application form. That's so cool. Um, Collector's card. It's kind of cool. So there's the uh, Zigok. It's pretty cool. There's man stance happening. And I won't take these out of the bubble wrap, but as you can see, there's like a base that goes along with it. So that's that's that box. And based on my efforts of getting that out 
Um, well, that box, you'll forgive me for not opening the other ones up because I said I don't want to damage the boxes too much. So that's box one, which is the Zegok. Box two is the Goof. And again, similar thing, little base as we can tell. Let's see if the books any different. Try and do this very carefully. So it should have. Page on the on the goof. A little bit more detail, but it seems very similar in design. Sorrow and hatred. And a bit of a close up of the of the figurine. So again, it's, you know, it's about about ten centimeters. Actually, no. Let's have a guess. I reckon it's about eight centimeters. <sighs> Nine. Just off. Um, so I'll put that one there. Uh, box three. One of my favorite kits of all time. The Zaku. Um, I'll pull that one down. And again, this should be a page on it. And. Looks like this is a Zionic. I don't know, there's a <laughs> Giyama. Tristars. Battle of Odessa. So, yeah, it looks like each one focuses in on a particular thing. Oh, wow, how cool is that? It has. Why has it got a Gundam? He's odd. Why has it got a Gundam in there? Maybe... No, no, the other one. Oh, I, went, I wonder if it's just like a kind of a... You get the build pieces to go along with it. Alright, so this is AC guy. Oh, you do too, look. There's the backpack. There's the arms. So is it a gym? Are you building? That's the book. This one doesn't have. Oh, there it is. There, so the AC guy, and a little bit of detail. So obviously this is the <laughs> Gundam bike. Um, and the road to Jabiru. So that's kind of cool. Oh wow! How how awesome is that? You actually get a mystery kit. Oh yeah, there's the head. The head's hiding in there. And there's the uh, the dom. Oh, how awesome is that? It's kind of like a little secret bonus that you get. So there's dom there, and again, going through. I must say that these drawings do look really, really, really familiar. Um, it's not as if they're commissioned a different artist or anything. These are typical... Um, yeah, so it's one one to two twenty scale, coming in at about thirteen hundred yen. So this is the Gundam. Um, so I wonder, does it have? There you go. Has a set of arms and a set of arms, set of legs, and a hand. But that's really odd. Seven. Yeah. The hands are green. So for those that know the Gundam, it's not green. It's oh, what color is it supposed to be? White? No, it's like a gunmetal grey from memory. Yeah, it's like a gunmetal grey. They've actually painted it green. That's really odd. Um, yeah, and there's a 
There's a Gundam RX-78. Granddaddy. And the Twilight of Zeon. Alright, so that, that's actually really cool. I, as I said, I've never really had a good look at these. Um, but yeah, nice, nice little collectible. Um, and that bonus surprise of a seventh kit um, that you put together. Um, that's, that's really awesome. I didn't even know that that was there. Um, so yeah, so look, thank you for, for joining me uh, in this series, in this little unboxing. Um, as I said, you know, the, the things you spot... Um, get on there. Uh, as you're putting stuff together. Um, that's really awesome. I think it's funny though, like you get the you get the f the free the free part. I didn't even notice that. Free part in like what box three onwards. Um, yeah, that's that's amazing. So yeah, that's the Gundam Operation collectible set that I have. Uh, should do some research and see if there's any more in the set. So thanks for watching.